Ouija boards are a fascinating thing. Originating as a board game, they grew over time to be a vital tool of the occult. They even gained their name in mysterious circumstances when the creators used one to ask, what would you like to be called? But do they work? If these stories are anything to go by, maybe. From an encounter in a dorm room to an encounter at a sleepover, these are five real life demons summoned from Ouija boards. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Number 5. M and L. We went trawling through the websites of the world to try and find genuine stories of Ouija boards in action to bring to your attention. Here are just five of our favorites. First up, Reddit user and winner of best username ever, Turtle Shell Magic, had this to say. My two best friends, M and L for this story, and I played the Ouija board at M's house. It was going fine until M asked the spirit how it died, and it said murder. She asked how it had been murdered, and it said, not I. It gave its name as something older that I can no longer remember, and gave us a date in the 1800s. It started to get heavy, the whole room felt different, and the little thing on the board was ripped out of our hands and went across the room. We stopped playing immediately after that. M's mom died of cancer a week later. Very suddenly, nobody knew. Probably a coincidence, but Elle's mom was hospitalized for a serious drinking problem not long after that, and then mine had an emergency hysterectomy the same week. I have since then experienced things that I don't think I would have without this experience. Voices, a dark shadow, footsteps. I wonder if I'm haunted sometimes still, and it's been nine years. That's chilling stuff, and it's far from the only occult encounter a Reddit user has had with a Ouija board. Now it's time for the star topic. For most of the entries on our list today, we're going to be looking at stories with no photographic evidence because, to be honest, using a Ouija board is an intimate experience which people don't often film themselves doing. For our star topic today, we bring you an exception to that. This photo was captured under truly terrifying experiences. After their youngest child, Dano, had gone to bed, the Jackson family decided to do something they had been tempted to do for a while. Play with a Ouija board. They were skeptics, but skeptics with a love of all things horror and thought it would be fun to try one out just to see what happened. They had done the same the week before with tarot cards. But what happened truly shocked them. At first, nothing happened, just as they expected. But then, without warning, the glass spelt out something strange. Dano. Why was the spirit or demon mentioning the only family member who wasn't playing, the only one who was in bed? Suddenly, Dano's mother, Crystal, heard a thump from upstairs. According to her, she raced upstairs to find Dano was awake and entirely out of control. She described it as being like something out of The Exorcist. He scrambled down the stairs on his knees, squealing like a pig, and spent almost 15 minutes crawling around, roaring and hissing. Had Dano been possessed by a demon? In all the chaos, this was the only photo they could capture. Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and we will pin the comment that best explains what's being shown on this image. Let's move on to the next one. Number 4. Our good friend Roger. Reddit user Ouija1993, who signed up to Reddit purely to share their horrifying experience, had this terrifying story to share. Now, before I read, bear one thing in mind. I'm not allowed to curse, so I've changed one of the curse words into something more wholesome. See if you can spot it. Anyway, back to Ouija1993's tale of horror. I was over at a friend's house back in the early 90s. I believe I was in ninth grade at the time. There were four of us, myself and three other girls. They kept asking me if I wanted to play with the Ouija board because they've been talking to some dude on it named Roger. I was totally skeptical at first. I wasn't buying it. I totally thought they were moving the planchette until I asked the board a question that only I knew. We had just gotten our grades from school back that day and I asked it what I got in science. I remember this clearly and I know my friends did not know the answer. The board spelled out my grade. Of course, that piqued my interest, so I started asking it more questions. I can't really recall the details of that night, other than the board kept calling one of my friends a silly goose. It hated her. It liked me. His name was Roger, and he was stabbed to death. At one point, I was the only one controlling the board and asking questions. It worked. The freakiest thing that's ever happened to me. I'm not super spiritual, have never seen anything else paranormal related, and feel that I'm a very rational person. All I know is something supernatural was controlling that board without a doubt. Do you believe Ouija 1993's story? Number 3. 
another tale from Reddit. And it seems the request for stories of Ouija board encounters truly captured the imagination of Reddit users as more and more stories just kept coming in. Another from user Hammerhands goes as follows. We were hanging out in a friend's dorm room and busted out the Ouija board. There were a few of us who had used them before and a few who hadn't that were quite skeptical. It was about 11 p.m. and the communication with the board was going quite well. Gary, one of the skeptics, kept calling bullcrap on the whole thing. We convinced him to sit on the floor with us and give it a shot. His first question, is this for real or just a bunch of bullcrap? The planchette zipped to no. Fine, he says, still not believing. Prove it. No sooner had he finished that statement when the lights in the room flickered and the building's fire alarm went off. This freaked all of us out and we left the room to follow fire alarm procedures. After about 20 minutes, campus safety said it was a false alarm and let us all back into the dorms. When we arrived back up to our friend's room, the Ouija board was gone. No one took it with us and the room was left locked. Either Ouija boards work better than I ever realized, or fans of Reddit find themselves victimized by demons and ghouls more than anybody else. Number 2. Tales from BuzzFeed You know what I just said? I take it back. Because it seems the users of BuzzFeed are hit with just as much demonic action. A similar call was put out to BuzzFeed users asking if any had ever had an encounter with a Ouija board. The response was insane. Stories upon stories just kept coming in and in and in. We only have two spots left on this list, and we couldn't bring ourselves to pick just two. So how's this for a cheeky bonus? Both the final spots on this list will be a mini list of five short Ouija board tales. That's 15 horrifying stories for the price of five. Don't we treat you? Coming in at number five in BuzzFeed list one, user Rachel Schwartz said, When I was in junior high, a friend and I sat on her grandparents' grave to mess around with a Ouija board. Five minutes after we started playing with it, the ground began to sink underneath us. We ran out of there very quickly, and I haven't messed with one since. Coming in at number four, Just Want to Sleep said, A friend of mine had one when I was young, but I was very skeptical of it. I thought she was moving it whenever we asked a question, so I asked questions she wouldn't know the answer to. I tried to contact my uncle who had passed away. I asked him how he was doing, and the board started to spell his wife's name, Shomara, which there's no way my friend would have known about, never mind known how to spell. It. We kind of feel like they're never gonna get to sleep, not after experiencing that. And now, number three. Galley481CD33B0 said, My soccer team had a sleepover at our gym and we played with a Ouija board. Nothing too eventful happened until the board spelled out T H I R S T, F I R E, and H E L P. We closed out the board. When we went back to school a few days later, we asked the athletic director, whose office was in the gym, if he knew the history of the gym. He told us that the gym burned down once a long time ago, and one man died in the fire. And now the penultimate entry in our first of two lists within a list, Jake P43 DC 97648 said, My buddy and I found a Ouija board at my girlfriend's house. We were really bored, so we went to this graveyard by my house to see if it would actually work. As suspected, nothing happened. We brought the board back to my house and didn't think anything of it. The next day, strange things began happening. Out of nowhere, my friend started having sleep paralysis every time he spent the night at my house, despite never having it before. The first time, he saw a tall woman with long black hair standing in the corner of the room facing the wall. The next time, he was asleep on the couch and saw the same woman standing at my open door looking directly into my room. And now at number one, Tumblr and Netflix said, A few months ago, my friend brought over her Ouija board. There were about five of us at this sleepover, and when we began using the board, we met Joe. After an hour of speaking with Joe, one girl asked, Joe, are you a bad spirit? Joe spelled N-O, then spelled out H-I-M. We asked what he was talking about, and he spelled H-E-S-C-O-M-I-N-G then began to spell out Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O. The next morning, we tried again, this time speaking to someone claiming to be Joe's wife. We asked her, is Joe a bad spirit? And she quickly responded, Y-E-S. Number one, more tales from BuzzFeed. Are you ready? Strap yourself in. It's time for another list within a list as we count down five more creepy tales of Ouija board encounters as described by the good people of BuzzFeed. 
At number 5, Laurels 4B39086 2A said, I once played with a Ouija board at a sleepover. We weren't asking it anything weird, just silly questions like, who am I going to marry? I asked it to give me the initials of someone I will date in the future, and it gave me an N and a B. Sure enough, I've dated someone with the initials NB for five years now. At number 4, Anthony586 said, My friends and I were playing with one in my backyard. When we contacted someone, one of my friends made fun of the spirit's name. My fence immediately started to rattle. My friends decided they wanted to go inside, so we all headed for the door, but my dog stopped us at the bottom of the porch, which was totally unlike him, and he started snarling at the empty darkness behind us. At number 3, Christina said, At my friend's birthday party, someone decided to try a Ouija board. My friend's protective mother was next door at her parents' house, not anywhere in hearing distance. Suddenly, as several kids went into the bathroom to sneakily use the board, my friend's mother came running in the front door and shouted that those who intended on using the board had to leave immediately. She actually felt from a distance what they were about to do. Creeps me out to this day. At number two, a Amara Lache said, My cousin was heading to a party with a Ouija board in the trunk of her car for all of us to see. On the way to the party, she got into a car wreck. She was fine, but her car was totaled. So obviously, instead of going to the party, she went back home. When she opened her closet to get ready for bed, the board was somehow back in the closet. She burned it after that. G450B190C6 said, When I was younger, my two older cousins, my older brother and I were playing with a Ouija board, but all it spelled out was M-A-M-A. -A. Later that night, when my brother asked our mom if she had ever played with a Ouija board, she said she had once, but all it spelled out was M-A-M-A. -M -A. Then, a few years later, I was really bored and got a ghost detecting app on my iPod, I was really into ghost adventures at the time, and the very first thing the app said was Mama. And finally, at number one, Nicole W4188 416B said, I was 13 years old and staying at a friend's house overnight. She had somehow managed to sneak a Ouija board past her super religious mom, and after her parents went to bed, we used it. We asked the board some typical 13-year-old girl questions, nothing happened, and we went to bed. But that night, her mom's new kitten started acting weird. He was wailing and running headfirst into walls. We woke up to it sitting in the middle of her kitchen, twitching and staring off into space. That week, they took it to the vet, who said that the kitten had a neurological problem and had to be put down immediately. To this day, my friend and I are convinced that the kitten was possessed. Which of these Ouija board tales horrified you the most? And do you have any Ouija board stories of your own? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.